What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new sneaker review and today we have some absolute fire and today is Fresh Kicks for Under $100 part 16 to the series. If you guys are unfamiliar with what the series is about, it's pretty much a series where I go and I try to find the best sneaker for under $100 whether it's inside a store or the internet. I'm always searching for the best sneaker to show you guys. We're going to get into the sneaker review but before we do that make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram underscore Luigi to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content, sneaker content clothing content or if you just want to message me to chop it up my messages are always open to you guys as always make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys did enjoy the content hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video click that little bell stay notified because we do drop videos every single week but let's get into it the sneaker that we're going to be talking about today is a pair of air maxes and i don't know about you but i love air maxes and if you're a sneakerhead i'm pretty sure that you're also into Air Max. They're very special to me. I grew up wearing them a lot, especially when I was younger. And the great thing about Air Maxes is, if you're not a fan of one Air Max, there's just a ton of models. So there's just so many Air Max models. And the one that I have today is an absolute banger. It's actually a retro a vintage sneaker from 1996. I didn't necessarily have these sneakers growing up, but I kind of wish that I did. Got these for only $56 off of Nike.com. I got them when they had their 25% off sale. You can still pick up these sneakers for around $70 on Nike.com. And if you're not a fan of this specific colorway, they do off of the blue one that is also on sale. That one is absolutely fire too. But enough about that. I know you guys want to see the sneaker, so let's get into it. For the actual sneaker box, you got something totally different. It's not your regular orange Nike box that a lot of you guys are used to and also that I'm used to too. They really threw in like the vintage Nike box. I'm guessing this, these are what the old like Nike boxes used to look like. I'm not really too sure. Don't come crazy at me in the comments, but it's definitely giving you those cool like vintage vibes. Like the box is all around different. You got red. You got some black right here. You have Nike branding on the back of the sneaker. And right here in this print, it does say engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletics from around the world. So that's pretty cool. Just a little cool touch by Nike. And the little thing that I thought was just a little bit weird right here on the actual box, even though this isn't a Nike SB sneaker, it does say Nike SB on there. So I thought that was just a little weird. I, I don't know why Nike decided to do that, but enough about the damn box. No, you guys don't want to see the sneaker. So let's get into it. The sneaker that we have today is the Nike Air Max Triax 96 in the University Red colorway. Now this thing right here is freaking just crazy because it's just a chunky sneaker. I know a lot of you guys are kind of off that chunky dad shoe vibe and I'm, I'm still on it man i have a lot of chunky sneakers from pumas to adidas to nikes i just love chunky sneakers i'm still a big fan of them i think they're just really dope and, and um, it's just something different and they kind of look good with like baggy sweats or like uh slim sweats even if you rock skinnies with them overall just chunky sneakers are just really dope to me i don't know i don't know when i'm gonna kind of be off this wave but for now it's it's very strong i'm gonna wear the sneaker a lot in the summer i mean you can't really go wrong black, red, and white. I mean, it's just a simple sneaker. Super excited I got these and uh, let's get into it. First thing that we're gonna get into the sneaker is obviously the colorway of the sneaker. Now the sneaker is predominantly made of white. You have hits of black, you have hits of red. Predominantly red you do have on the eyelids right here. You do have on the Nike swoosh. And the cool thing that I do like about the sneaker is you can reverse red Nike swoosh right here on top of where the air bubble is visible. So I thought that was really cool. It's nothing too crazy. One thing I do like about the sneaker is the red, it pops, but in like a subtle way. It's nothing too crazy, it's not super loud. Next thing that we're gonna be going into is the materials of the sneakers. So this is a vintage, it is a retro of a vintage sneaker. So you're not getting like crazy up-to-date materials on the sneaker, but you do get a lot of decent materials on the sneaker. You do have hits of like black mesh right here on the sneaker. Below on the toe box right here, you do have a hit of like soft white leather. And I will say the leather on this is actually pretty smooth. It's pretty nice. It's not like buttery smooth compared to like Jordan 1 leather, but it is actually pretty decent. And it's actually really nice so predominantly you do have black mesh right here you do have hits of white leather right here by the eyelids where the rope laces do go through you do have another hit of like white leather right here same thing where the red nike swishes right here you do have a hit another hit of white leather same thing going into the back by the heel tab as well more hits of white leather and on the back of the heel tab you do have a, like a really rough suede on it i do believe it's not too great on it but i mean like i said you do are getting different materials on the sneaker with the laces of the sneaker now you guys know me i'm a big fan of like rope lace style material laces so they threw in some rope laces on this it's not your regular rope laces that i'm pretty much used to it's just your standard regular white rope laces nothing too crazy i do like the lacing system on it i thought that was really cool the whole rope lacing system does remind me of the air max 97 so i thought that was actually really cool that's another big reason why i purchased this sneaker because i liked how how, like the whole rope lacing system looks so it's pretty cool nothing too crazy actually on the actual 
eyelids right here the sneaker you do have it hits of like red on it so that that's really cool it does add more red to the sneaker it does make it pop a little bit the tongue of the sneaker the tongue is done in predominantly all black mesh and you do have like a little pull tab right here that does say nike air on it so i thought that was really cool it's definitely giving off those vintage vibes the tongue is not like super fat it's not like super small either it's just a perfect size for like the chunky sneakers the midsole of this the nike air max triax is done in like a white midsole going all the way across same thing on the medial and lateral side like up down reverse like red nike swish so you do have more nike branding than just on the side and on the toe box right here you do have that reverse red nike swish overall i think the midsole just looks really clean i do like the overall shape of the sneaker i don't know it's a chunky sneaker but at the same time it looks kind of sleek i don't know if that kind of makes sense outsole the sneaker now the outsole is definitely really different i've never had an outsole that actually looks like this outsole has like this weird crazy like traction pattern to it you do have more nike branding you have that big red nike swish on top of this white Which pattern actually looks really cool definitely vintage runner vibes and i would say for comfort of the sneaker i was actually really surprised by how comfortable the sneaker is if you guys are wondering on the sizing on the sneaker it is a chunky sneaker but it is true to size i went with my regular size seven and a half so you guys are wondering which sneaker size you guys should get I would say go true size. Overall, going back into the sneaker, the whole entire sneaker is just really dope. I'm a big fan of Chunky Dad sneakers, so there was no way I was not gonna cop the Nike Air Max Triax. 96 in the University Red colorway. Like I said before, if you guys are not a fan of this colorway, they do offer a blue one that is currently on sale at Nike.com. It's just a simple, clean sneaker. It's black and red goes with anything if you're a fan of like vintage sneakers or if you had the sneaker growing up and you don't have it now definitely now is your perfect time to cop them especially when they're on sale for a super low price for under a hundred dollars you're getting that whole like retro sneaker you're getting a pair of air maxes you're getting a comfortable pair of air maxes at that a simple colorway goes with anything you don't really have to think about it too much and you know if you're just looking to add like another model of air maxes to your collection and definitely pick these up i would say from a one to ten what i would rate the sneaker probably i would give it an 8.5 just because it's not my favorite air max so if you definitely want a brand new sneaker for the summer if you want a sneaker that you can beat up you don't really have to think about like spending too much money to re-up on them i would definitely recommend the nike air max triax 96 solid sneaker it's an air max you can't really go wrong especially with this black and red colorway but that's pretty much it for this sneaker review. I'm going to throw these on feet to show you guys how I styled them. And that will be the end of the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys did enjoy the content. I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. It lets me know that you guys do enjoy the content. Hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video. And click that little bell to stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. As always, make sure you guys follow the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. You guys appreciate all the on-feet shots, all the dope photos. He is responsible for them on my Instagram. So make sure you guys do give Kev a follow on his Instagram. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram underscore Luigi to stay updated on my behind the scenes content, sneaker content, clothing content, or if you just want to message me to chop it up, my messages are always open. That's going to be pretty much it. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.